<laughs> well, you're back again. I was just looking at some places I have plans made to visit here in February on uh, short little RV trips. I was planning on having my uh, first stage of my two stage final upgrades to my RV done this month, but after some very deep soul searching financial research and uh, just heart to heart thought, I've decided that uh, it doesn't make any sense splitting the thing up in two because if I do that by the time I do part two everything is going to be so damn expensive compared to now still um, I'd be ahead to do it now and pay it off in the long run and it'll probably come out to be the same <laughs> with interest and such but uh, I've been doing a lot of research on the computer on different 12 volt AC units uh, for my uh, sprinter van and uh, also the solar array and um, uh, some other things that I was going to put off and have now reasoned that it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to do it all at the same time, get it done, and put it to sleep. No more necessary upgrades after this. So I think we've <clears throat> figured out the plan for the solar roof frame for the solar panels. That'll give me 800 watts of solar. And I finally decided on my 12 volt AC unit for the RV. That will replace the old, um, I think it's carrier AC unit that was put on the RV back in 2007. Which, uh, the last time I used it last summer, when it was in the 80s, uh, ran the dang thing, plugged in the shore power for three or four hours, and I really couldn't still tell the difference between the inside and the outside. So, uh, I think it's time has come. I, I found out you can't put more free on any of these mm. things because they're a closed system, the way they're built, and then with all the regulations with the... Uh, AC Freon stuff nowadays and all the environmentalists they make it a pain in the ass <laughs> to do anything mm. you know I'm surprised they ain't charging us for farting like the cows it's it's gone insane but anyway I don't want to get into that um, yeah because I'm gonna put my two parts together as I officially thought of doing we're not going to be able to get this project started as soon as I thought because it's just kind of become twice the size huh. so I got a meeting with my friends at the, the RV shop to go over my final decisions and I, I I do this on my projects that are like big projects both in scope and finance I come up with a a plan. I itemize everything, the the job list. I uh, include uh, photographs, pictures, printouts of examples of what I expect, what I want to see, and the kind of equipment I want installed, and how and where and what. And, and I, I try to lay it all out for them, you know, just like a blueprint for a carpenter to build a home, you know? So there's no surprises, no misunderstandings between me and the craftsman I have doing the job for me. <clears throat> so anyway, since we're not gonna be starting that this month, I thought, well, heck, I might as well do the uh, RV trip I was planning on earlier. And I've already got the information mapped out on uh, a notepad 
with times, money, schedules, and all that stuff required to get me where I want to go for this uh, RV trip for February. And uh, once <clears throat> we return from that, uh, I want to make some videos of the changes I've made to my RV and, and uh, during our trips like this, just to make it more interesting than doing it out in the doggone driveway, you know, with traffic driving by and dogs barking and lawnmowers going and sirens and going and the planes flying overhead. And like, geez, whiz, you know. So, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Kate down here, she's sleeping. I used that all-in-one dog trimmer uh, kit that was sent to me a month or two ago. Finally got it out. Used it a little more this time. Groomed her. I think she looks really nice. I got all this crazy hairs that are sticking out everywhere. Uh, trimmed off, smoothed out. Really nice. Shaved her butt. Her butt looked like a lion's mane. It was just out of hand. And uh, I'm sure she feels better because of it. She sure looks better. And uh, so, yeah, she's still doing good. We'll go out and we'll trot around the little backyard we got. And she'll keep right up with me, run across the field. And and uh, the spider problem she's had with the three bouts of canine vestibular disease, um, you wouldn't know she's got a problem. I think it's just like you could say it was just old age nowadays. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to her celebrating her 15th birthday here this June. And uh, I'm hoping she lives a full life. Her life expectancy is uh, 17 years. So I'm hoping she's with me for another three years, you know. Sarah lived her full life expectancy of 14 with me, or over 14. And uh, I'm looking forward to having Kate do the same. And... Uh, when I lose Kate, it's going to be a, a huge, another huge hole in my heart. And uh, I'll take some time to heal from that. But I'll get one more dog, another Border Collie. And uh, like I jokingly tell my friends, it's going to be a race to see who outlives who. Will my next and last dog outlive me or will I outlive it? But anyway, I have high hopes, no reason not to believe I'm not going to live into my 80s at least. So that gives me a lot of time to travel still and enjoy my life. So, with that being said, I am going to uh, get back to planning possibly a second RV trip here for February. And once I get the uh, RV in for this last and final and major, major upgrade for life on the road and uh, maybe returning to being a uh, snowbird, or at least a semi-nomad, as I call myself, then uh, I'll be ready. I'll really take a breath. You know, what was that? Uh, exhale. <laughs> and uh, call it done, call it over, and just enjoy my RV lifestyle with my girl, Katie. So, as Katie and I always tell you, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. We appreciate even more your comments uh, on our videos. And, well, we just want to wish you all happy trails and woof woof. Take care.